Okay, all of the bolts have been tightened down. We're kind of at the end here. I um, wanted to show you just a couple of things that I did uh, with the lid that you can do or choose not to. Um, one of them is to retain it with a uh, maybe a piece of cord or string or whatever you want to do, but this keeps you from losing the lid. It doesn't, it won't fall into the hatch, but you could lose it potentially. So what I did is I tied off this string to a post that's found here in the center of the hatch cover, and the post outside diameter is actually one quarter inch, and you can cut threads onto that plastic post. Um, and that's what I did, um, and I could actually receive a quarter by 20 nut. Um, but I chose not to do that. Instead, I used a small zip tie. Um, additionally, I put a little piece of tape to hold the tag in down. Like I said, that just retains it and keeps you from losing the lid if uh, you were to drop it or something like that. I want to show you how the fishing, the fish system works if you needed to... Uh, clip something in and I put two clips. I put one on the right and then one on the left just to show you how this works But when I get something out of the left one I already clipped in a string and it is connected To what do we got here? This is a dry bag and in here is one of the most important things you can take on your fishing trip and You'll be the hero or it'll save your day one of the two uh, Let's see. What do we have? Ah, yeah, this. That'll save your day or someone else's day. Yep, that's, yeah, that's what you want. So, put that in your dry bag. And you can just uh, have the dry bag tied off. And then, if that dry bag is placed in your hatch, and it slides somehow to the front of the boat as long as it's clipped in you can get to it and these are the, the little d-ring clips that i have and i just put a little loop on the end of the string and you clip in clip out and keeps you from losing things way up in the boat and that's pretty much it that's uh concludes putting in a five inch hatch on a heritage angler 10 2013 edition and some of the modifications and things you can do to make it a little bit better. Thanks for watching.